It's Miniature Monday, and today this one's going to be a little bit different because we're doing a viewer request. So, you know, of course I'm going to have to start with what the bestie asked for, and she asked for Octillery, so that's who we're going to make. Octillery is a water Pokemon that came out in Gen 2. For those who don't know, that's like Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver, but hey, that's besides the point. So, you know, of course we gotta start off by modeling. We gotta get in all those shapes, all those curves. Normally I kinda start with either a circle or square. Since Octillery is round, most of the stuff that I am picking is a sphere. So, you know, just keeping it round and just kinda molding it to the shape that Octillery is. So of course after that, you know, we gotta bring it to the printer. So first we gotta bring it to our slicer. G2 box is what I use. I know some people use lychee, but you know, I'm a Chi2 person. And you know, my printer, that's the built-in interface that it uses, so I just like to keep it easy. I bring it in my slicer, and I slice it. That way it's like, you know, on the build plate, and I utilize only what I need. I don't want to use too much resin if I don't have to. So now that that is on my flash drive, I'm gonna bring that over to the actual printer now so that we can print out our good old Octillery and have it run on our printer and get it done. Now that it's off the printer, we gotta clean this bad boy off because resin is dangerous. And if it is not clean enough, you might have like an allergic reaction. I don't want that to happen to anybody. Luckily it hasn't happened to me, but like, you know, I've, I've heard things and I don't want it to happen to anybody. And I don't want anybody to be like, oh, Chandra's telling us bad practices. <laughs> so my resin is water washable. I always start off by washing it off in some warm water. That way all the resin that's stuck to it can kind of get rinsed off. I kind of do like this shake method where I shake it first, just so it's like, you know, it really goes through like a little, little, um, little hurricane on the inside of a little plastic container. After that, I take some cleaner water and I do it again. And then last but not least, I run it through some isopropyl alcohol. I know that I don't need to, but I always feel like my prints come out cleaner. And plus, like, you know, why not? Because wouldn't you want your print to be as clean as possible? That way you can paint it and there'll be no problem. And after that, I throw these bad boys into the UV light. That way they can cure all the way because I'm gonna paint mine. So I, I gotta make sure, I gotta make sure it's cured. And of course, I'm gonna take mine and I'm gonna give him that paint. So I'm gonna start off with the red because let's face it, Octillery is mostly this reddish color. You're gonna paint this whole body this color. Let it dry, of course. I have a heat gun, so I'm gonna just slightly hit it with the heat gun. You don't wanna do it too much because it could lift. You do not want this stuff to lift. After that, I'm gonna put on a little bit of that white and, you know, some black and the yellow on all these dots. And there we go. Like, now our paint job for Octillery is done. Now that we got a paint job, I'm just going to make a quick base, and there you have it. Now we got Octillery. Octillery's all based up. We got a water type Pokemon, so you know, of course we just want this to look kind of good. Kind of wanted to give it beachy vibes. I kind of feel like I got it, but at the same time it's like, <laughs> But yeah, thank you for watching, and of course, you know, if you guys have like a request or a character, because I'm doing cartoon characters, so don't get like too too extreme like it could be anime or whatever but like I don't want to be hearing like oh, I want you to make Naruto or anything like we're we're kind of trying to keep it simple right now <laughs> but I do have a more complex video coming up so of course make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding the bell because if you don't YouTube holds my content hostage and you will never see it again so please do that and of course if you like the video like the video so yeah make sure you take care of yourself and of course, stay spooky.